St. Patrick's Day! It's Danny Fish. In honor of St. Patrick's Day, I'm going to take the first shot of whiskey that I have taken in over a year. That was a mistake. Cheers. Oh, it's fine, I'm fine, it's fine. In honor of St. Patrick's Day, we are going to be making a Bailey's Irish coffee ice cream. Irish coffee in general is essentially coffee, whiskey, brown sugar, and cream. But when you use Baileys, all you have to do is put coffee with the Baileys because Baileys is whiskey and cream and you've got a Baileys Irish coffee. Baileys does have alcohol in it, so if you need a refresher on how we work alcohol into ice cream, check out that Science Sunday video that touches on each type of alcohol and how we work that into our ice cream. We're only using a small amount. I'm actually only doing a half batch of this because I am the only one in this household that likes coffee, so I didn't want to waste. It's fairly simple to make. Coffee-based ice cream, and we add some Baileys in there and let everything steep all together to really enhance those flavors, and it's that simple. Bailey's Irish coffee ice cream starting now. To start, we add our milk, half of our cream, some sugar, and our Bailey's into a pot on the stove until it gets nice and hot. This recipe is a little bit different because we're actually going to let our base start to simmer and reach a small boil for about 30 seconds to a minute. Then you want to turn the heat off and you're going to add about a cup's worth of whole coffee beans. Submerge those beans under the liquid and then we're going to cover for 30 minutes to an hour so the coffee can steep. While that steeps, we're going to prep our egg yolks in a separate bowl and put that to the side. And then we're going to take the remaining cream and put that in a separate bowl with a strainer on top and set that to the side. Now that it's been about an hour, we're going to rewarm our coffee infused mixture so that it's nice and hot. And then we're going to temper in our egg yolks by slowly pouring a stream into the egg yolks and then pouring those warmed egg yolks back into that mixture. Then we're gonna cook it until it's nice and thick on a low heat and strain it into our bowl with the remaining cream. Once it's cooled completely in the refrigerator, either overnight or for at least four hours, you can throw that bad boy into your ice cream machine and it's gonna come out nice and soft. For as little of Bailey's as we put in this, it's what you, it's what you smell first. You, it's, it's gonna hit you. Adding alcohol to ice cream makes it freeze a little bit differently. So when you do add alcohol into your ice cream bases, you'll notice that the texture of that ice cream is gonna be super soft, which is exactly what we have here. Well, you definitely taste that Bailey's. You get a nice coffee flavor, but it's not overpowering. And then you get the hint and the nuttiness of the Bailey's with it. It really gives you a really good, subtle Irish coffee flavor. Without being overpowering, like this isn't gonna get you drunk, that's not the point. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. If you have not already, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. You are following me on Instagram so you don't miss a post or a picture and check me out on Facebook and or TikTok. I will see you next week for more ice cream. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Cheers. Oh, that one went downwards. That one was worse.